Okay, as you guys know, know that I lost a few of my videos, okay? And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to redo my videos back over again. So a couple of years ago, I installed this Tesla screen. And uh, so what I'm going to try and do is do a reinstall of the video. I'm just going to bring back, I think I found it on the hot, my hard drive, uh, the install video. So the install video is going to be quite a few years old. So you just got to bear with that video. It's old. Now there's new, there's new stuff on it. There's new versions of it. So you, we're going to go into the video, which is pretty old. And I'm trying to put all my videos back together again because I lost most of them. So what we'll do, as you can see, this is the new screen. And this has got a newer version. And as you can see, it'll tell you your coolant temperature. It'll tell you your voltage of your battery. It tells you your boost. It tells you your intake temperature. It tells you everything as you're, you know, you know, as this Tesla screen does and so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the video of the install remember this is a very old video and it looks very old so bear with it because now we're now we're in the new era of you know different versions and so we're gonna go straight into it now okay folks all right then we'll see you at the video thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe here's the video thank you Okay, so this is the video um, we're gonna do. Here's my Jaguar XF. It's a 2015 uh, XF. Right next to it is my baby right there. That's my Jaguar X-Type. And that's uh, not my daily commuter. Right now, this is my XF, which I finished doing the grill and stuff. And now I'm gonna get in the car and we're gonna plug things up with this Tesla screen. That's actually, let me show you the my Lexus I have over here, which has a Tesla screen in it. Okay, this is my uh, Lexus GS350 with a, uh, this screen I had put in here, and uh, we'll get to the we'll get to the Jaguar in a minute. But this is what I did. I designed this little logo for the Lexus right here. Then I designed a, a boot animation, which will start up right there as you can see so as you can see starting up I'm gonna try and put a boot animation startup for the Jaguar also so this is what I created so it's starting up I'm gonna try and get this Tesla screen almost like this one in the Jaguar so that's how that boots up so this is kinda what I got right here and that's the Lexus like logo down there and this works pretty cool you know you can uh, play your music kind of thing you got your music player Pretty cool, and you got your video. Almost like what I got in the uh, in the Jaguar. Um, let's put a video on. So you could. So I got all kinds of music videos. Let's throw something on. Uh, let's find something. So you got all kinds of music videos I got. So like if I put... Dr. Einstein, I know that you seldom give interviews. And so I want to thank you on behalf of all of our listeners for coming here today. I'm sure that what you have to say will be of real interest and service to your new country. Ever since you heard this on your body, the second of November, 1930. Yeah. Yeah, 
Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to recreate this in the Jaguar. You know, you got your Atlas kind of stuff. You know, it's pretty cool. And you got, let's see here. You got your YouTube, you got your navigation, all this good stuff. So this is what I got in my Jaguar. So I'm gonna try and recreate that in my, uh, I mean, in my, I got this in my Lexus, sorry. I'm trying to recreate this in my Jaguar also. So let's go over to the Jag and see what we can do. Plug it up and hopefully everything will be good. We'll go through all the functions. Okay, so we're going to go over to the Jag right here. And we're going to let's get inside here. Ugh. Got all my test stuff and all that. Got the whole car ripped apart. I better get my wife to hold it because uh, I kind of suck at holding the camera. Uh, you want to grab this, Babs? Sure. Okay. Dennis, I was hiding. <laughs> Leave that door. I better close it. Those yeah, you better are, close it. Those birds are noisy. They're yeah. gossiping. Yeah. All right, so. Wait, wait, wait. I can start it. Oh, it's, it's recording right now. No. Oh, it is? Oh, I didn't know that. What? what it's, okay. it's okay. I didn't know it. No, it's still recording. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, sorry. It's okay. I, I thought you said you were going to pause that. No, that's cool. I think it's recording right now. Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. Okay, so what we got right here, these are all the plugs we got for the for my factory radio, okay? So the, what we got, we're going to be plugging up this one right here uh, into the little blue box. We're going to, this one right here is going to be for my backup camera. This one right here is going to be for my power. Um, these plugs right here are for my um, for my Android Auto box. Can you hold that one up, please, again? Yeah. So we're not Five. even going to use that. So them are for my. Just don't forget about that. That's for my Android box, my little box, what I which I've showed you guys. And here's a lower part for the C CD player or DVD player, or whatever. So we're going to plug this one up plug this we're going to put a loop on that we're going to use this one for the antenna and that should be it for the lower part it so it's like very colorful yeah spaghetti. <laughs> so let's start plugging things up all right let's see so i've got the big one right here it's going to go into this can you hold up the big one again so i can see what right. you plugged in right there okay all right Oop, so get it the right way. There we go. It clicked. Yeah. And then we're gonna get a loop. Let's see loop. what that loop looks like. It's like a, a loop for the uh, fiber optics. Okay. By putting this on it keeps the Let keeps... me see how you click that together, please. Okay, so that'll go like that. Okay. So what it does it keeps the fiber optics going. Because once you got a break in the uh once you got a break in there, nothing's gonna work. So, let's go with this. Now, which part is that? This is the other fiber optics. Now, this one has an auxiliary in. So, what we're going to do, Can we're going to... see the tip, please? Right there. The tips. Perfect. Thank you. All right. And so, what we do, we're going to grab these over here. It says audio out. Where and does it say that? Right here. Let me zoom in a little bit closer because... How's that? Oh, yes, I see that now. See okay. It? So we'll plug these in. All right. So these two got to go together. Then we'll take the box. Okay. And we'll plug this one into here. Let me see the back, please. Just so I can. Okay, I see. Thank you. All right. So we'll plug this into here if I can plug it the right way. There we go. Okay. Okay, what else we got? We're going to need a backup camera. So, back here. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the wrong one. This one's for the aerial. Let's find the backup camera wire. It's got to be around here somewhere. In the colorful spaghetti? In the spaghetti here. Here we go. Let me take a quick peek at that one, please. All right, let me get it out of here. 
So this is your backup camera wire. It's gonna say, uh, what does it oh, say? It's long. I don't know what that says. I have no idea. But anyways, this is gonna be your backup camera which connects into here. Where does it connect? Right down here. Okay. Thanks. See that? And then, you notice know, it's got a purple on there? Yes. So we're gonna knock that into the purple right here. Boom. Let me see that. Please. See that? Let me get a little bit closer okay cool yes all right purple so, with purple yeah and i think we have power here's your power you see it says 12 to 15 xf so this is going to be your for my car so i'll plug this into this mamma jamma right here let me see see that right there can you hold it up again please Thank you. There we go. I think we're pretty good. Oh, and this one right here also needs to be plugged up. Let's find that little plug for that puppy. There it is. So, if you look on the back right here, I took the tape. There's usually a tape here. I took it off because I just wanted to check things out. So, if you look back here, Plug that in there. That's what that says. Okay. So it's this one coming from here, which is going to connect to here. Usually, this plug is the plug which is on that long spear bar. Okay. okay. So, all we're going to do today, we're just going to check out what functions work and what doesn't. And uh, then, oh, geez. <laughs> then the next next video will do sound. How this, you know, how the sound is, and. Uh, what we'll do is, oh, we're gonna click, hook up the aerial. The aerial hooks up to this white one right here. See this white one? You got that, Babs? Uh, let me, okay, yeah, cool. yes. Cool. So, we'll hook that into there. And it clicks. Perfect. So, what do you think, Babs? Let's go for it. You think it's gonna start or fire up, or you think it's gonna be a dud? I think it'll fire up. Yeah, let's clean the screen off. We got it kind of. It's very dusty today. There's yeah. plenty of pollen in the air. All right, it looks like this is for the backup. Makes the backup sound or whatever. All right, let's see what actually works. You know what we can do too? Mm -hmm. Oh no, forget it. I was gonna hook up the Wi Fi also. But eh, we'll forget it. But, anyways, let's fire this puppy up and hope and pray that it works. Let's see. I think it works. Nothing. Okay, maybe I forgot something. Let's see. Earlier it started up. Oh, I forgot to put the power in. Oopsie daisy. Okay. I forgot to put this power in. See right here? Yep. So I'm going to turn it off. I might have distracted you with my questions. It's okay, Bubs. You know I love you. All right, so this black wire right here is going to plug into you. here. It's the power wire. Totally forgot to put that in. Can you show how that hooks in, or are you able to? Uh, not no? really. Okay. Well, it plugs into the back of this, anyways. Okay. All gotcha. right. So let's try it again. Hopefully, this time it'll fire up. Actually, let's check how fast it fires up. If it fires up, you know okay. What I mean? Is it going to start instantly? So I know on my on the original, the original, it takes a while for it to start up. Now let's see if this will start up right away. Oh my oh, god. Instant. Wow. Instant. Instant. Alright, so. Let me just get in a better position here. Alright. I'm just going to lean the camera on you. Just stay still. Alright. While I reposition. Thanks. Let's see if the uh, turn down the fan. See if that works. Mm hmm. Oh shit. The fan works. The mm -hmm. fan button works. Nice. All right, let's do some checking on shit. All right, this one thing we need to check is steering wheel controls. Does the steering wheel controls work? Well, first of all, the volume button, that works. Perfect. That's a good sign. Um, let's go to settings. Um, 
gotta remember all this shit. Settings right here. And we're gonna try and get the steering wheel controls. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find it. Let me position up. Yeah, no, now I just gotta remember where the hell they are. Okay. Let's see. Steering wheel controls. I think it was. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I think it was in here. Steering wheel controls. Where are you? It's not in there. Okay. It's not in there. Okay. Let's check this one right here. Which one did you tap? Let's go back. Looks like original it's... car agreement. Setting and then These original settings. car. All right, external temperature, automatic start and stop. I hate that shit. Uh, radar display on and off. Reverse parking line, static trace. Reversing track reversal. CAN box upgrade, AC information on and off. Door on and off. Um, hey, the door, the door does work. See, look, mm -hmm. and that's pretty cool. I see it. So if I open the door, it recognizes that the door is open. Yes. Sweet. All right. What's the rear door exchange? I don't know what that's all about. Okay, we're looking with steering wheel controls, right? Yes. Okay, let's see. Driver's door position, temperature. All right, let's try another one. Can't find it there. Setting. Security language input. I think it's back here. Wait, what did you just tap at the bottom there? Uh, this one right here. Okay, thank you. All right, let's try to find it in display. Maybe it's in this. No, it's not there. I seen it somewhere. I just can't remember where it's at. It's not sound, is it? Nope. How about here? It's got to be in here. Let's see here. Come on, steering wheel control. There it is, found it. All right, let's see if the steering wheel controls work. Okay, so, he's saying to me, he says, please press the button of the original steering wheel. Okay, so we're gonna press this Let one to go out. up. So I want volume up, okay? Let me just zoom in a little bit and see what, okay. Mm -hmm. Volume up, let's go volume up. So it made a, it made something happen right here. So now I just gotta hit this. How do you know which one to hit? Oh, it, because that has a little speaker. Yeah. So if I yeah, see it works. See, look, I just oh. it does work. Okay. So now let's do the uh, volume down. So I gotta hold this. Let me see. Okay. Volume down. Okay. And now next, let's see where it says a microphone right here, on here? Yes. I'm going to put that as, uh, let's see, maybe this microphone or the Bluetooth microphone? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's try, let's put it as a Bluetooth microphone. Okay. Okay. This one, which is mode. Let me see which one you touched. I want to touch mode. Actually, Can you move your finger a little bit to, and just point to the one which is mode? mode. Thank you, got it. Now, instead of having mode, I don't want mode on that. I'm going to see if it will work if you will turn on the GPS. Okay, so hold the button down and we'll hit that. Let me see. All right, so I've done that. Wait, okay. Can you point to the one that you just tapped? The GPS. Okay, let me see it without your finger there. Man, it's got a lot of stuff. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see if it worked. That's the biggest thing. So you hit the hit that. And now let's see if it works. Okay, so volume up. Oh shoot! It's working. Steering wheel control volume oh, yes, up. Yes, I see it. Now let's see if volume down works. Volume see down. Here over. Volume down works. Okay. Okay. So what did I do with I didn't even do this one. I forgot that one. Alright, so let's try this one, this one was Bluetooth. Let me see. 
And first, okay. and then put your finger on it. Yeah, okay, okay so we're recording now. Okay. okay. So, where we left off, we ran out of recording space, I think. But anyways, um, mode, the... mode, let's oh. try mode. That will be GPS. Whoa! That's not GPS though, is it? I can't tell. Let's change it. Let's try it again. The steering wheel settings. Oh, well, that's GPS. What's the SRC? I'm not sure. Is it serious maybe? I don't know. Serious channel? I don't know. Alright, let's let's I'm just guess. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's go mode with Okay, tell uh, me where, where you're pointing, where you're touching mode. Alright, so I'm going to hit mode. Steering right. wheel? Yeah, I'm going to hit mode. Okay. And then I'm going to hit house, home. Where's the little house? Right there. Gotcha. Alright. So, oh, wait a minute. You see how it's lighted up? Let me see. I can't see. Right there. It lit up? The little house did? Yeah, let's see if it works. Oh, you mean the border of the button? Yeah. I All got right. you. So I'm going to hit mode, and hopefully it'll take me home. Mode? Boom! Yes, it worked. Alright, let's try again with the GPS part. Well, actually, we don't need to do anymore. We, you guys know that the steering wheel control works. Let's find some other things to see what else does, what works and what doesn't work. Let's go to car info. Driving miles. It gives you the total trip. Measure my, miles. Trip type A or B trip miles so it gives you everything you get from the original and so let's go down a little bit two stage unlock uh, start with um, to lock automatically passive insurance one thing they wanted to know whether the steer heat steering wheel works we'll find out now all right so let's hit that turn it on let's see if the steering wheel all right Face the camera to the steering wheel. Sorry about that. Let's see if it'll heat up. I'm distracted <laughs> by the little icons. It's okay, but I was, I was trying to see if it's... Oh, yeah, it's getting warm now. Well, that's good. Yes, yeah, so the heated steering wheel works. Oh, it's getting cooking now. Ooh. It's Toasty. Turning. All right, so now this... Yes, the heated steering wheels work. Let's turn that shit up. It's getting hot. All right, so that works. Okay, so let's see. Paddle shifter. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the paddle shifter thing works. Nice. So I could do How D. How do you know it works? Because the green arrow came yeah, out? Yeah, because it goes DNS and sport mode. I see. Okay, that works. Cool. All right, so now what else we got? Steering wheel heating. Shit, I still got it on. Turn that bitch off. All right, air circulation. So we want this in Fahrenheit. Let's put it in Fahrenheit. Rotating air outlet. See where it says when it, you know when it rotates out. So that's that you can have that in auto. What's the other one? Always on. Or you can have the the AC always on thing. Okay, I'll leave it in auto. Auto sensitivity. Backrest only. Backrest only, something like that. So this is for the heated steering wheels. If you want to have like the backrest or if you want the full seat. So that's good. Language settings. I'll be English US. So that's cool. So everything seems to work. Okay. Auto lock speed. Now let's check the air conditioning does the air conditioning work okay. we're cooking right now it so is if you hit that let's turn the ac Tell, on what did you just hit this little arrow thing right here let me see it see right there yes all right let's crank up the yeah that's what i'm talking oh, about oh it feels good now the test is does the heated steering wheel the heated seats work and the cooling seats work Oh. That you're going to have to. Yeah, but. So now let's go. Turn that back on. 
bring the fan down. In actuality, you could use the fan thing right here. So you could bring the fan up and down right here. Bring it down. While we're on this panel, let's check these out. Um, door lock. Oh yes, yeah, so the door lock, door lock works. Um, AC. Yeah, so we already got. Yeah, the AC button works. See how it lights up. That's cool. All right, so now let's go back to the AC again. So the AC Can you works. Move that towel just a tiny bit, honey. It's a little bit in the way. How's that? That's a, that's better. Thank All you. All right, let's try the heated seats. Okay. So we got cooled seat heated. Let's try the heated seats. All right, so you got one red line. See the one red line? Let me just zoom in a little bit. So that's just for warm. Okay. Now if I want it hotter, if I hit it again, see the two okay. two red lines. And then if I want it even steaming hot, three red lines. You see that? Yes. Now let me see if I can feel my ass right now. All right, starting to warm. Toasty buns. Biggest thing, I want to see if the cooled seats work. Wait a minute, I just want to feel it. Frosty buns. Oh yes, I can feel it now. Ah yeah. Heated seats is working. Alright, so let's turn that off. Let's try the cool seats. Wow. Let's turn it on. Frosty. Let's turn it on high. Three buttons? Yeah. Three blue dots. It's cooling down now. Feel it. Yeah, it's cooling down. Sweet! So I don't have to worry about that for the summertime. We got recirculated air. Let's check if that yeah, that's the outside air. You hear it change? Mm-hmm. Alright, that's good. That works. Perfect. Heated steering wheel. I mean heated uh, windshield. Defrost. Is that windshield oh, yeah, defrost? Com yeah, it's coming through. All right, let's turn these off. All right, I think this is max window. Yeah, it's coming out fast. Oh yeah, it's lasting now. All right. Turn that shit off. Dang, it's getting a little cool in my back seat here. Let's turn this off. All right, so let's turn the AC back on because it's getting a little hot in here. So we do know now that the uh, fan works. So that's a good thing, thank God. So that's got the pass test right here. And so let's say what else we got right here. So car info is all good to go. Um, let's see what else. I'm gonna end up forget. Oh, phone. Let's see if the phone. Let me see the icon for the phone. Oh, rats! I missed it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call. So I hooked up the phone. See, how it says Dennis S21. My phone. I let's call. Let's off. call. Let's call. Some, do you know any? Let me call your phone. Okay, it's in the house. Oh, I can't. I don't want to put your number on there. Hold on. Let's see. Let's just call it. An, How about um? Do you know what, a number? Um. What if you call information? Four one one. Oh well, we know it works because it, as soon as I made a call, it shut my phone off from recording. So can't make a call. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. See right here it makes the phone calls and that's for music if you want to scan I think scan Bluetooth scan it something I don't know. Mm. 
Okay, so what else you got? Answer, auto answer off on Bluetooth. Reset, okay. Okay, so that's the dialer. The dialer works. Okay, it's got connected Dennis S21. That's my phone. Can't use it because I end up calling myself. Um, let's see here. And it'll shut my record off. Okay, so everything seems okay. You think any thinking of anything else, Babs? I can't think of anything else. Cause the next one we're gonna do is the sound. Maybe See if, did we do navigation or anything like that? I think the navigation works pretty good. Oh, look at that, pretty cool. Oh, did I download Google Earth? I don't remember. Let's see. All right, let me see if I can uh, turn on hotspot. Okay, so we got most things working. Um, I want to check. Oh, one thing we should check is the uh, backup camera, right? Did we check yes. the backup camera? No, not oh, yet. Okay, so we'll, what we'll do, we'll check the backup camera, and we're going to check uh, Google Earth. Because if you notice, whenever you open Google Earth on your cell phone, it pixelates in. I want to see how good it is, whether it will work on here. And uh, we'll try Google Earth, and we're going to try the backup camera now. Let's see if I can move forward. Let me see if I can do this without screen falling over. All right. So I'm in, let's see what I'm in right now. I'm in drive, let's go forward a little bit. All right, all right, let's put it in reverse. Oh shit, it works. Perfect. Look, I don't know, the steering wheel works with it too. Let's bring it back over here a little bit. Oh shoot. And it's got the little radar things mm -hmm. to show you. Okay. I wonder if you could screenshot that. See that little thing there? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, that tells you if you want to make it brighter. Ah, uh, but I think it's for the contrast. Yeah, it's the contrast. See, look. Let me zoom in a little bit better. Yeah, see how it got lighter? Or you can make it darker. Okay. Alright, so that looks good. Alright, so line settings. Oh, you got line camera height, width, camera angle, view angle, horizontal offset, safe distance, or style 2. You got style 1 and you got style 2 for the backup camera. Well, oh, this thing is annoying. Oh, let me turn the backup camera thing off. There we go. All right, so we stop the sound. So this is for the uh, if you however way you want it. So you can have camera height, camera angle, view angle, horizontal offset, uh, safe distance. So if I click back there, you know, I can restore the default. So I can make it brighter or lighter. Hit it again. Now let's get out of this. Let me see what if I hit that doesn't do anything. Okay, so that works cool so things are starting to work pretty cool in here so now let's go to Google Earth now this is a test here Google Earth on phones even on your computer is a hard thing to get it to work good let's see how this works because I know it's gonna pixelate and I know this is only got four gigs of RAM so which is pretty cool it's got a good processor it's pretty snappy and fast so if I hit Google Earth, let's see what happens. Oh shoot! Let's type. Let's let's do something. Hold on. Uh, Mattertuck Museum, Waterbury, Connecticut. Oh, we did that one before. Let's try Birmingham, where I was born. Birmingham, England. Yeah. Um. Birmingham, England, Bowring Shopping Center. Ah, oh, shoot. Messed that up. Uh oh. There. Oh shoot. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, let's try it. That's Birmingham. Hold on, let's try it. Let's try the boring. Oh, let's get that out of the way. Oh, it's got a microphone right here. Hold on, let me see. Uh, Birmingham, England, the boring shopping center. Oh, I have to say go to. Oh, let's do it again. Go to the Boring Shopping Center, Birmingham, England. Oh, I'm messing this whole thing up. Oh, let's get Maybe it. Maybe try Elizabeth Park in West Hartford, Connecticut. Hold on, let me try. Yeah, we'll try Elizabeth Park. Let me try this Boring, though. Birmingham, England. All right, so we're in Birmingham, all right? That's where I was born, Sutton Coalfield. Now let's go to Point of Interest. Let's go to Cadbury World. Mm -mm, yum, yum. I didn't know they had that there. Yum, yum, yum. It's been so long since I ain't been to England. Let's go to... It's doing good, actually. Oh, my God. Usually on my cell phone, doesn't even do it this good. All right, let's see if we can zoom in down there. Okay, so it's, so there's this little pixelation like on my phone. So that's the Cadbury's, uh, let's see if we can get in the street view. I think we can get down there in the street. I don't know it's amazing. That. I know. It's nice when technology is your friend. Yeah, so that's the Cadbury's in Birmingham. Mm -mm, God. Let's try. Yummy, yummy. Let's try. Oh, let's see. Let's go to another place. Let's go to like say, Birmingham, England. Boring. Let's type in boring. Shopping center. Yeah. Boring. I don't think they call it that anymore. I think it's... Is it maybe a promenade? Because mm, I used to go to the Boring. But is it maybe we used, we, used to call, we used to call it town growing up in England. Uh, we used to go there on a Saturday and go to New Street. Mm -hmm. We used to go up the ramp. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Uh, let's try New... St uh, oh, Boring Shopping Center. There you go. That's amazing. That's <laughs> sweet. That it's able to find it. All right, let's go back so I can get out of all these. There we go. Let's get it. See if it stopped pixelating. There we go. It's starting to, starting to clean up. It takes a while for it to clean up. Well, that's pretty freaking cool, huh? See how it's going 32%, 34%? So I suppose when it gets to like 100%, all this will be not pixelated anymore. So 55. Yeah. So once it gets to 100%, Super fast, but it's pretty decent. All right, so we just wanted to show you guys that. In the next video, we're gonna do sound. You know how to sound sounds with the videos and stuff like that. We're gonna start playing the videos, and we'll see how the sound is. The phone works, and until then, we're gonna do another video. Okay. Remember to like and subscribe for the next video. Thank you for watching. You can see back here we have the GPS if you see it right there 
And what we can actually do, if you notice the fin on the top of your roof, we can actually tap into that fin so you can get a better satellite. So what I did was I bought this adapter right here and I connected it down here. Let me show you. Remember that this one is for your, uh, this one right here is for your uh, aerial, for your radio. And then you look down further, then you'll find this connector. This one is for your GPS. So watch, watch what will happen. I'm going to unplug it. Now, if you take a look right here, excuse all my mess right here. If you notice that the GPS is uh, no signal, right? Now it's starting to go down because I unplugged it, okay? So let it, let it go down, no signal. It's going down, good. So we've got no signal, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it back in, then you'll see the signal come back. So give me a second, wife's inside uh, cooking up some food, so usually she'll do the camera work. So just bear with me for a minute while I try and get all this together. Okay, so remember what I said, this is only for the 2015. You're going to find this little plug with a little pink thing on there. Then you're going to connect this plug right here, which you get on Amazon for $6.00. Plug that right in. Boom. Done. And so, now, if I go back to the screen, you see all the signal? Now, signal is there. Full. See that? Now it's turning green and orange, whatever it's turning. So this is just a heads up for you guys. I got this uh, little bit of information from another guy on the X260 forum. And uh, that that makes your signal even better, you know, because you're getting it from the roof of your car. And so thanks to him, we appreciate his help. And uh, all of us working together, we can get this these, these um, Tesla screens to work great, you know what I mean? And so they do send you this, if you look in the corner right here, that little blue little uh, GPS, it works, it works, it does the job. But nothing's better than having the, uh, the factory one. Um, which is on top of your roof out in the elements and so that gives you a way better signal so instantly the GPS just connects right away so um, I'm gonna put this back together and uh, just bear with me okay so the subscriber was saying that uh, when you install the screen itself does that cruise control work and let's get the steering wheel straight does this cruise control work okay so what we'll do I think we'll drive up and down the street so you guys can see it actually working and how it works so let's get let's get the car rolling we've got to get up to speed a little bit all right so now hold on, let me get into a nice spot right here give me a second just got to find a nice little stretch right here. We're going to use a cruise control. I never use a cruise control myself, but I just wanted to show it for one of the subscribers who asked the question. So let's let's give it a try right here. I think i got enough. See this little straight away? Mm -hmm. I think I got a little straight. So look on the steering wheel right here, Babs. To set it, you got to bring this, the scroller wheel down. Well, let me give it some gas. Can you do see, it? see right there, you gotta be a certain speed. I'm, I, see, hold on, let me cancel it. Well, we do know it's just too much of a short spot. Let's find a nice little straightaway right here. I think if you turn it, left, turn there's left. a nice straightaway. Yeah, because it's too, sh but it's too short. We need to get some speed. Beautiful New England rainy day. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. You ready? So now, if you look on the screen when I bring down the button. I'll bring it up. See, it says set speed, right? You see that? So the cruise control works. Now, in order for you to keep it going, you gotta use, now watch the speed on, on the dash right here. Watch, I'm bringing up the scroller wheel, I'm going faster. See, it's making it go faster and faster and faster. Oh shoot, you get a supercharger at the same time. <laughs> so you can, so you see going up, and I'm gonna cancel it. 
So the short answer is yes. So the short answer is yes, the cruise control works. But because I'm limited with a little bit of area I'm driving in, um, all I could do is give you a little taste that it does actually work. So on to the next question. What was the next one there, Babs? About the steering wheel, if there's... Um... Oh, we, us putting this on. Well, yes. when we put these on, I'm gonna show you guys how we put these on in one second. 